So this is a standard New South Wales Government Railways upper quadrant drive mechanism. It has a 12 volt DC motor which rotates via a set of gears a spindle through 90 degrees. Attached to the spindle is also a hub. On the hub are a number of contacts and when the spindle reaches 45 degrees or the full 90 degrees those contacts can be opened and or shut. That turns the power to the motor off. Built into the side of the motor is a solenoid. When that is energised, a small lug is pushed in against a notched wheel. That allows the spindle to rotate clockwise. And when the solenoid is energised and the motor stops turning, that small lug holds the motor and spindle in a particular position. When the solenoid is de-energised, the lug retracts and that allows the spindle and the semaphore attached to it to rotate back to the stopped position. Bolted to the spindle is a heavy spectacle plate and semaphore arm. As that rotates clockwise it goes off centre. When it reaches either 45 degrees or 90 degrees the motor is turned off by one of the contacts on the hub but the solenoid is still energised, the lug then holding the motor in place. When a train enters the section protected by that signal, a circuit is completed, a relay then turns off the power to the solenoid, the lug retracts and the weight of the semaphore pulls it back down to horizontal and the stop position.